Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the road to the presidency of His Excellency President Donald J. Trump. As Prophet Uber Angel have prophesied in time past and now and in the future, what will happen? Guys, if you don't watch this video, don't blame me. All right, let's go into it. Let's go. Daniel 4, verse 17. This matter is by the decree of the prophets and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the Most High ruleth the kingdom of men and giveth it to whomsoever he will and setteth up over it the basest of men. On the 28th of February, 2016, in a live Sunday service broadcast around the world live on Good News TV, eight months before the presidential elections, Prophet Hubert Angel gave the word of the Lord concerning the 2016 American elections, which was contrary to what everyone had predicted. I was in the presence of God, and God began to speak to me even with regards to, to the world as you see it. I saw these great things in another way. Because I once said I'm not going to do this anymore, but uh, God says uh, you are not the one to choose. This is going to be a race of two people. And sometimes black people just hear what the others say. Trump is not good for you. And the black people say yes. And they are already voting for the wrong person. So sometimes a country can choose to go behind a Clinton when God wants a Trump. Notice something. One, this was even before the nominations of the party candidates. Yet the prophet of God was already speaking of a two-way race between Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. This is going to be a race of two people. Two, Prophet Angel went on to mention that most black people would vote for the wrong person. CNN later confirmed that 88% went for the losing candidate, Hillary Clinton. It is of paramount importance to note that this prophecy was given even before Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump were nominated by their respective parties. And sometimes black people just hear what the others say. Trump is not good for you. And the black people say yes. And they are already voting for the wrong person. CNN later confirmed that 88% went for the losing candidate, Hillary Clinton. Three, notice how the prophet mentioned that it would be a two-way race where people would try to support Hillary Clinton, and yet God is choosing Donald Trump. This is when every pollster and pundit were not expecting Donald Trump to win even the Republican nomination let alone the presidential election. This is going to be a race of two people. So sometimes a country can choose to go behind a Clinton when God wants a Trump. Again, this was even before their winning of their own party nominations. Yet the prophet of God was already speaking of a two-way presidential race between Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. Another detail to note, this prophecy was given in a live service broadcasting live around the world on Good News TV eight months before the presidential election. Two, Prophet Angel went on to mention that most black people would vote for the wrong person. CNN later confirmed that 88% went for the losing candidate, Hillary Clinton. It is of paramount importance to note that this prophecy was given even before Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump were nominated by their respective parties. Three, 
Notice how the prophet mentioned that it would be a two-way race where people would try to support Hillary Clinton, and yet God is choosing Donald Trump. This is when every pollster and pundit were not expecting Donald Trump to win even the Republican nomination, let alone the presidential election. On the 17th of July, 2016, five months after the 28th of February, 2016 live prophetic service, which was almost four months before the presidential election, our offices were inundated with calls from people complaining about why Prophet Angel supported Donald Trump, who was accused of hating black people, like the prophet who is black. The prophet responded in a live Sunday service on the 17th of July, 2016. These were his words. You can, listen, you can go around and hit me who you want. I talk what I hear, not what you like. And then Prophet Angel added more clarity to who God's choice was to win the election and become the president of the United States of America despite being accused of hating people of color. You can move around, get angry all you like. Why is God doing like this? Huh? He hates us. Huh? Trump likes white people. That was God's choice. And confirm that Donald Trump will be the 45th president of the United States. Thank you. Thank you very much, everyone. To all Republicans and Democrats and independents across this nation, I say it is time for us to come together as one united people. It's time. I pledge to every citizen of our land that I will be president for all Americans. And this is so important to me. Disclaimer. It should be noted that the prophetic only speaks what it hears and confirms the decree of God and sometimes goes against the will of the people. The prophet is simply a vessel, not the originator of the message. Daniel 4, verse 17. This matter is by the decree of the prophets and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the Most High ruleth the kingdom of men. I'm the 46th president of the United States. On the 9th of October, 2020, just four weeks before the November 2020 elections, Prophet Angel, in a live service broadcast live to millions of viewers around the world, declared that Donald Trump was God's choice. The prophet went further, explaining why Trump was the preferred candidate for God. But notice how the prophet mentioned that though it was clear God's choice was Trump, the prophetic word was based on the church receiving Trump. These were his words. First time I ministered here, I ministered on something very, very important a few years ago, and I mentioned that Trump was going to be the president. And people said a lot of things until God said, tell them. They will vote for who they want. But Trump will be president. Notice this. They will vote for whosoever they want. And, I'm, and God revealed even in that same vision, God knew the voice of Hillary Clinton will be more than Trump's voice by three million. Or maybe people, some people don't know that's what happened in the elections. 
Hillary got more votes than Trump. But because of the electoral college uh, system that they use in America, Trump won. That was a sign God had already said, I know who you vote for. But the strategy I will make is different. Do you see what I'm saying? So, so that was a 100% prophecy that you couldn't change. You could go to the ballots and never change God's mind, no matter who you were. Then he says, I will give him a second term. Watch this now. So I'll give him a second term, but it will be based on the church receiving him. On the 25th of October, 2020, just over a week before the November 2020 elections, Prophet Angel again in a live Sunday service again unequivocally declared that God's choice was Donald Trump and that he was sent for the church. But one, notice how the prophet explained how the prophetic can have conditions. Two, Notice how he pointed out how God's choice was based on the condition of the church receiving Trump, but instead the church was refusing Trump in favor of Biden. Three, notice how the prophet went on to declare the word of the Lord saying, if God declared peace to a nation, but the nation did not repent, God would repent from the peace he intended for that nation. Four, notice how he again stressed how the attitude of the nation would determine the outcome of the prophecy, and in this case, rejecting God's choice. These were his words. And some say, what about this? This election is taking place. Let me tell you something about the prophetic. You can decide to believe the prophetic. But the Lord says, if I send a word to a city, that peace will be in that city, and the city does not repent, I will repent from the peace I wanted to give that nation. So prophecy can be changed based on attitudes. First time here, I told you Trump was going to be president. What, did, what happened? He was the president. And this time God said something. He said, I gave Trump to America for the church. Yes. He said, man, listen to this. Listen to this. He said, the reason why Trump is president is for the church. Yes. And what has happened with the church now? They are refusing. They want somebody who is after the death of little children. Yes. Biden. Because somebody lied to us that Trump has black people. Just the media saying nonsense. And Christians and leaders, and they are ashamed to stand with what God wants. But I want you to understand. I say, you can even vote for, for, for the person, uh, Biden, and, and you say, here he is. So there are, there are prophecies with conditions and prophecies with no conditions. The church needs to now believe that these are the last days. Let's hear what he said. He said the reason why Trump is president is for the church. This was dependent on the church, but the church refused him, deciding to get Biden. And what has happened with the church now? They are refusing. They want somebody who is after the death of little children. Biden. The Fox News decision desk can now project that former Vice President Joe Biden will win Pennsylvania and Nevada, putting him over the 270 electoral votes he needs to become the 46th president of the United States. Disclaimer, it should be noted that the prophetic only speaks what it hears and confirms the decree of God and sometimes goes against the will of the people. The prophet is simply a vessel not the origin the prophet is simply a vessel and not the originator of the message the originator of the message is god now let me give you something here prophet keeps mentioning trump and trump and trump and trump whilst black people in america are against the idea of prophet exclaiming every time in his prophecies that 
Trump is going to win the elections. Even Africans, we were against the fact. But then, here is a catch. After Trump left office, if you really watch Uber Angel, you will see that he has been mentioning Trump, 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 and Trump. Sometime in a broadcast, he said, Trumpism will never leave the White House. What, what do you mean to say that? If Trump is not going to be there, you won't say Trumpism is not going to depart from the White House. You have no business doing in the White House if you are not a sitting president. Your culture will not say, stay sorry, in the White House if you are not a sitting president. And Prophet, I'm just giving you a track record. I'm giving you the road map. You get it? Listen to me carefully. Prophet is trying to tell you that there is no way Biden is going to win this election again. Because I've watched, you know, Prophet Uber Angel over and over again. And then he always sides with what God is saying. And then who is going to win? For example, if Biden was the one who is going to win, he's always going to be on Biden. And God is saying these are, and you know, his affiliation is with Trump. As much as God's affiliation is with Trump. And in a, broad, in a broadcast, he said, okay, this is the thing. God is not saying anything right now. And if I have any information, I'll come to you in the broadcast and I'll tell you who is going to win. But trust me, this man is very dangerous. Okay? And as much as I pay attention to him, I know what, what he's saying. I understand. That's why the breakdown is here. Okay? Now, he always raised that agenda and propaganda as much as God is speaking. That Trump, Trump, Trump is the one God chose. Trump is the, is the one that did this. Trump is the one that God is saying this about. So this is the roadmap. And the reason why I'm bringing up this video is because now, as he's mentioning it, it is the track record. Now, when it happens, you'll be like, ah, when? When did he say this? Because you have not paid enough attention a detailed and a critical attention to what he is saying. Like I'm doing right now. Okay, so when it happens, then we will reference all of these things. Like the, you know, the whole tape that I played right now. You see, it was a referencing. These are tapes in broadcast that he was mentioning it and nobody was paying attention. Now when it happened, you see, now this is the same thing I'm saying. He's mentioning Trump over and over again. Trumpism will never leave the White House. This and that and this and that. Blah, 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 blah. And this is what it means to say. Guys, I love to break down something like this. Gospel messages like this. And then I run a poll on this channel. And a lot of people, more than 300 people, I believe, voted. That who is who do they believe is going to win the U.S. elections 2024? And a lot of people voted 90. More than 95% voted that Trump is going to win. People are having that feeling now. And most of those people who voted are black people. Okay? Black people. And then they just ended... The, the, one, the voting that happened that Trump won, majority of blacks didn't vote for Trump. And you saw it in a video I just played. But this time around, I see that... There is that edge of black people wanting to vote for Trump now. And it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Guys, if you love this one, make sure to subscribe, share, and like this video. This video is much longer, but we love to do this. So make sure you are able to watch till here. And if you are able to watch till here, much love, bro. Much love. Much love. Thank you for watching, and I'm out.